everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Randy. So today we are doing another first reaction. This is Greeley Estates and the song is called The Killing Fields. I have no idea what to expect, which always makes it exciting. So without further ado, here we go. Also, I hope I'm not lagging. I try to listen to the first verse and chorus of a song before I pause, but not all music is structured the same. I felt like I was waiting on a chorus, but I don't know if that was a chorus or not, so I'm going to pause now. I feel like so far this is a very vulnerable song, a uh, relationship, not necessarily between romantic people, but tired of all the fighting, can that be done? Don't you know I would die for you? You know you kill me is what the words... So like, for me, relatable. I'll, I'll, I'll talk later though, sorry. Oops. Like a chorus. I love what's going on right now in the music. going into an instrumental so I want to pause one more time so yeah super relatable well I guess it depends on the listener um, but from my perspective I could see this as being applied to the person you love romantically or someone else that you feel like isn't as invested in you as you are in them and maybe your relationship has become Maybe toxic isn't the right word, but you're saying, can we fix it? Can we get back to good? I would die for you and I want to fix it. Do you want to fix it enough to, you know, give that back? I could be co totally wrong, but in that sense, it's super relatable. And I like the just rawness. Like it's more, it feels more open, vulnerable, the music and the way the vocals are being sang, which sang. Uh, which kind of supports and reinforces the message of the song, if that makes sense. So it makes it more cohesive because everything I've heard so far is very in line with the lyrics. Um, I like it. <laughs> That 
that made me want to cry. I was not expecting it to take that turn, but also that reinforces the the context, the message too. Now it's to the point where the person is screaming, I would die for you. Don't you realize? Don't you realize what you're doing to me and I love you? Please, can we fix this? I, I don't want it to be over. Um, I love that it took that turn. <laughs> that drop out too. Did I pause at the end? That's like the second time I've done that in the last 30 minutes. I just did that on a reaction a minute ago. I am so sorry for pausing at the end. When it shows that a video has like another minute, I don't, it doesn't occur to me that half of that might just be not song, so I think it's a good time to pause. Anyway, my mistake. I like the vulnerability of that. I like the rawness. It felt, it sounded like that if, if you could give a sound to the way it feels when you've reached that point where your relationship is not working out, but you don't want it to be over, and you feel like you would give anything to continue the relationship but you feel like the other person is just I don't know not invested doesn't care or is creating the problems and doesn't care about you the same way you care about them if you could create a sound to replicate that feeling I think this would be that sound or something very similar excuse me I just drank soda um, I enjoyed it and I, I really like how not not vulnerable vulnerable is not the right word it just felt something similar to vulnerability and I really liked that and I liked the voice I really liked the guitars and I liked how it was dropping out a couple of times like it dropped out once or twice but then there were several times where the music came in I guess it was the chorus or something and I really liked the way that the music came in at those parts. Um, anyway, thank you for the recommendation. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.